We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Cincinnati Reds and the New York Mets. Now batting, Nick Senzel. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line to the right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Batting second. The center fielder, number 33. Jesse. Throw over to the bag. Runner back safely. Stepping in now, Jesse Winker. In the dirt here. And no advance. It's ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. High and deep to right. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. In now for the Reds, Joey Votto. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And this is swung on and missed as they jump ahead of Votto here. 0 and 2. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably get that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire. And that's out number two. Mike. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. He swings and misses. Throw down. Not in time as he steals second. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. The set and the one-two. And a breaking ball. Stepping in, Ahmed Rosario. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not your stop. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Welcome to my world right here, batter. I've seen this 0 2 count way too many times. Hittable pitch in the middle of the zone, you take one. Slider in the dirt, you come unglued. Now you got to step out of the box, you have no idea what's going to happen. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. Batting second. The second baseman. Robinson. Oh. Here's Robbie Cano now. As he'll take a look at ball one. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. High in the air out to center field. Senzel's got it, and there's one gone. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Strike called, now the throw down is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Swing and a liner. But unfortunately, right at the shortstop for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Pete Alonzo. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Strike one to start the at-bat. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. The count now at two and two. Fouled off. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. You would think it. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. All set for the start of the inning. So stepping in, Aristides Aquino. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Second inning begins with a slider that misses here. It's 1 0. Swing and a miss for strike one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at-bat. 
Fastball called strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Into the box now, Derek Dietrich. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A ball and a strike. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. First pitch of the at bat. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Popped up. McNeil has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. Next for the Mets, Michael Conforto, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Cold strike two with the letters. 0-2 now. Conforto behind the ball and two strikes. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. The 2-2. Back up the middle. Galvis has it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Line toward center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Senzel makes the play, and the side is retired. Ready now for Cincinnati. Kirk to Sally. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. High in the air out to center field. Cespedes is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So one gone now in the Cincinnati third. And so the pitcher will bat next. That brings up Anthony DiSclefani. Check swing too close to call, so the appeal goes down to Eric Summersgill, who says he did go around. That's strike one. And there's ball one. one Third one. inning, no score to this point. One and two, the count to the one Reds ball. pitcher. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the yep. bump right now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Nick Senzel waits on deck. And he misses here, ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. The center fielder, Nick Senzel. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. The left fielder, number 33. Into the box, Jesse Winker. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Sent out to straightaway center field. After it is Cespedes. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto. Two on, two out for him here in the third from the stretch <laughs> fouled away the one one runners on first and third two away. Line drive to center field. 
and a base hit as that'll score the run from third and the Reds jump out in front here one to nothing. The batter of the ball. Second base. Mike. Into the box now. Mike Mustakis as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate. It's through. Let's see if they send him around to try to score. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a 2 to nothing lead now. Now batting. Number 44. In now, Aristides Aquino. As he will look at a curveball right on the black, apparently, it's strike one. And here's a pitch swung on and grounded toward Rosario at short. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. Yuenes Cespedes striding in next. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. No balls and a strike to count. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Cespedes behind the ball in two strikes. Hit in the air to center field. Senzel's got it, and there's one gone. Next up from New York, Luke Rennie. The pitcher. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. Hit back up the middle, fielded by Galvis. And that's the second out. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded by Votto. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Riding in once again, Derek Dietrich. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Here it comes. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. And another foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Galvis has had his trouble in these matchups, facing right handed pitching, that is, and shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws. Davis is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Digging in for his now second at bat, Casali. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Check swing grounder to the right side. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. First pitch on its way. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. But quick reactions in the hot corner take away a hit, and there's one gone. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. 
And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. A ball and a strike to the Mets' first baseman. And that misses two and one. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Mets' line score so far. The bouncer to the left side, and there are two away now. Riding into the box, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Anthony DiSclafani. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. Owen won the count. Here it comes. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. Down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, Nick Senzel. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. And he clearly couldn't make up his mind on that one coming in. A swing and a miss. Ooh, not a spot you'd expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. In there, a base hit. The left fielder, number 33. Jeffy. At the plate, Jesse Winker. Hit swung on and missed the throw. He's right on time for Ramos to be credited with a caught stealing. The wind up and the 0 1. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Two runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Oh, he rips this one the other way, but caught down there. At now at the plate, J.D. Davis hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2. He swung on and missed strike three. Now with the plate, Wilson Ramos. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Chopped toward the second baseman. Mustakis is there. Throw gets him, two down. So striding forward now, Joanna Cespedes. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. No balls and one strike. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Nope. Boy, he not. sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put in. So coming to the plate, Joey Votto, a hit in two tries so far. This is line to left, and Votto reaches. He's got a base hit. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. The batter number nine, second baseman, Mike. Standing in now, Mike Mustakis, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. 
A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Hard hit ball to second. And Mostakis is aboard. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Paul Seawall comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. No balls and a strike to count. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. He likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Uh, this will be foul off to the right out of play. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now that. The third thing. Into the box, yeah. Derek Dietrich. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that is off the wall. And he's safe. The bat, number three. Stepping in now, Freddie Galvis, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw on to first by Cano, and there's the first out of the inning. Digging in once again, Kirk Casale. Three runs already home, and a potential fourth standing at third base. And that misses ball one. Count one and oh. Ball two. That missed. Close. It's ball two. Great situation to be up at the plate right now. But if you're on the mound, there is absolutely no reason to give in to him. Stay on the outer quadrants of the plate and don't get beat in the middle. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. The pitcher. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And no swing, apparently, ball one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. A little low, it's two and two. to first right to him one there on to first as they get the double play Eduardo Nunez is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one one and oh hit out towards second Mostakis has it and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out so the lineup flips over and digging in Ahmed Rosario one for two with a double on his line thus far and this is going to find its way into left for a one out nod. So Robinson Cano will grab a bat next as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Now a move over to first runners back. Set with the 0 and 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Rosario stands at first with one out. And it's fouled away. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three on a nice dig at first, and the inning is over. Rick Porcello is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Standing in, number Nick 22. Senzel. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Hello. Now here's the pitch. Hey. All in one. 
Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Drilled right back up the middle. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Now that the left field. At the plate now, Jesse Winker. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. A 1 1 home. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside the throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Yanked on the ground down the line. A dive, but it's off his glove. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Stepping up to the plate, Joey Votto. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch of the at-bat. Fastball right back to the mound. He'll send it on over to first, and a big out there as that keeps the runner anchored at third with two away now. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mike Moustakis. He singled his last time up. He's set. Here it comes. Nope. All one, no fight. The 1-0. Now 2-0 with a great hitter up, a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have... There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. So now to the plate, the Aristides Aquino. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. To try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Behind 0-2 now. Softly on a line to third. And this will be no problem over at third. And there's the first down. First pitch on its way. Rene Rivera comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. A little roller toward the hole. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Shoots this one over to first. Taken in by Vado. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Derek Dietrich in his career against Porcello. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Ball one to start the at bat. Now a swing and a ground ball for the second baseman, Cano. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. Number three. Digging in, Freddie Galvis. He was a ground out victim last time up. Line drive, base hit to right. Now that Captain In now, Kirk to Sally as he lifts it in the air to right field. Conforto in a few steps as he takes it, two down. 
So here now is the pitcher, Anthony DiSclafani. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He's set and the pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And that'll get down for a base hit. The throw to third. Throw won't get him. Jerry Spamilia comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. To the plate now, Nick Senzel. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Three and zero to him now. Line toward the alley in left center, and that's going to get down out there. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Now back left field. Into the box now, Jesse Winker. As he'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hole, 0 and 2. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's 1 and 2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Ready with the payoff pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now batter. The first baseman. Joey. In is Joey Fado now. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. 1-1 one, one count to the Reds' first baseman. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Ready to deliver the one and two. This is line to left. Davis is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Stepping into the box, J.D. Davis. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. Hit down the third baseline. And that's off the left field wall. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. There's one on to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game, as there are quickly two away now. The center fielder. Outside with the fastball, that's 1-0. and Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in his zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Fouled off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. A swing and a ground ball to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Set to start the ninth in this one. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mike Mustakis. He went deep for a two run homer in his previous at bat. Fouled away. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. 
two and one. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now Settling in now, Aristides Aquino. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. A quick glove at third, and there are two gone. Ready for another chance? Derek Dietrich. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. and A ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this. Jed Lowry will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the ninth. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here. So he'll just need to work on getting aboard. One and oh, the count. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless. And it's one and one. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Galvis towards second. He's got it. On to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the back. A ball and no strikes. And he fouls this one off. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here. Just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slider down the way right there. Giving this offense no chance. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Robinson Cano the next to dig in. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. No contact there, and it's one and two. Runners on first with one down. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Digging in, Jeff McNeil. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Strike one to start the at-bat. Line toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Lowry is on his way home. Safe at the plate as they inch back here, but there's still a ways to go. Standing in now, Rene Rivera, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Hit hard towards center, and that's in there. Base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. At the plate, Michael Conforto. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Liner towards second. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Into the box, J.D. Davis. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. And he'll try and end it here with an even 100 pitches. Oh, what an under. And he'll make the catch there to end it. And the Reds have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts. But listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved 
complete game victory. A 9-2 finish at the end of this contest. The Cincinnati Reds led this game the from the third line inning line on and never wavered. Tonight. Anthony DiSclafani earns the win, Red. his second, Nine turning in a very strong, hit. complete no game error. effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is...